Hello, everybody. I see that somebody's here with us, two somebodies. Um, why don't you go ahead and say hi real quick while I finish setting up. Let me know who's here. I'm trying to loosen this up a little bit so I can... There. Um, I just rearranged my room because, like I said, we do the candling or we do the eggs. The incubators are in my room. And, boy, that's awful bright back there over my shoulder. Um, and I rearranged my room so that I could make it a little bit more room to be able to do this. So we are going to start pulling the eggs out of the incubator. I have the uh, GQF. 1502. Um, if anybody is here that is new, please say hello. Um, always like to welcome new persons. Um, new persons watching, um, welcome any questions, comments, statements, anything like that. Um, and what I do, too, is I also watch on my tablet for the comments, because it's a lot easier to see the comments. Hi, Tommy. Um, it's a lot easier to see the comments on um, my tablet rather than here. Um, so I also have my tabletop going which my tabletop is what I hatch in. Um, hey, Barb. Um, so I guess real quick, I just want to touch on a, on a topic here that's kind of come to light. Um, for even, for even us that have the experience, why would Hello, dear. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Um, so, and this has been a hard week. And it's only, what, Monday? Um, and so, my old man, Sylvester, he's been, he's got either, he's got something. Follicle, oil gland, something like that. And I'm, I've been quite worried about him. That is thoroughly infected all the way up into, like, the whole shoulder scapula area um, my brain has been a little fried trying to deal with that and um, we have a bunch of things going on with the club that's happening so I've been doing a lot of updates computer work this week well this weekend um, and so a lot of new things coming with that um, but one of the big things that I kind of wanted to, to touch on is so, we've all been there. We've all had it happen, even, you know, from the newest all the way up. But we've had where we've got good years and bad years, good hatches, bad hatches, good fertility, bad fertility. Well, apparently, I'm going to say that apparently I have been lucky for, like, the last mm, three years, at least, yeah, at least last three, four years. Um, I'm going to say that this year totally sucks. And you will guys will see exactly, I'm getting my flashlight, you guys will see exactly what I am talking about. Um, I have one gander, who is now two, that knows his assignment. Um, he knows his job and he's doing it quite well. The others, hmm, they're fired. So, anyways, um, I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. Keep the light on. <laughs> Hi, there I am. Wow, that was weird. So, you guys see this entire tray? Well, I did candle last night. 
Uh, usually I wait to candle with you guys, but um, last night was actually day seven. We'll see if anything has changed. I doubt it. But on this entire tray, as of last night, I had one, one, O N E, one stinking fertile egg. Out of all of the eggs that I've candled, I've only got three growing that are out of my color pen, my gray pen. Um, I have one of Sylvester's. We'll find out if it's made it. Um, I have none from my buff pen, which is buff over buff. Um, and if you guys wonder what I'm looking at, so the tablet's right there, and I keep catching myself moving out the corner of my eye, you know, out the peripheral here. Um, my buff boy, he has not figured out that he has the equipment and how to use it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a little, little discouraging, um, compared to last year, last year I hatched out almost 50, the year before I hatched out almost 50, um, I'd have to look back in my records to see what the last, you know, the year before is, so, hi Judith. Um, so without further ado, let's see just how terrible this really is. Um, on a good note, I'm hoping to have plenty of whites, but I've also got a lot of people asking for my grays, the grays and the buffs. So we shall see. I mean, he's doing a lot of practicing, but... I don't know. I'm going to bent sex him and see exactly. Make sure he's got all of his parts. That nothing happened to his member or anything like that. Um, and I am hearing that this year is being quite um, a challenge. Quite a challenge for um, fertility and hatching, incubation, etc. And so... I'm going to shut the light out. I'll shut the light out real quick. And um, let's get busy on this. And um, if I get distracted, please um, accept my apology. Uh, within the last half hour, I started a migraine. So hopefully, okay, I got to adjust because this is like way too high. Um... Let me see here. Okay. All right. So, again, let's start. Oh, I needed my bucket. You guys should see my bucket. Oh my gosh. Um, and I just put new can or new um batteries in my flashlight last night. So we shall see. All right. So these are fluff. My white boy. Let's see how he's doing. Um, this week, he's not been doing so great, but I also did some changing. I made some moves, and apparently he's not happy. Because that one's a dud. I lied. Maybe I lied. Maybe I have more than one. I don't know, guys. Anyways, that's a good one. And this is on day... Eight, day eight, um, and we're going to be working our way through to where I have day seven. So, or I'm sorry, not day seven, day 28. They're out cooling right now. The rest of them are cooling. Well, hi, Erin. You guys, Erin here, she doesn't live too far from me. And I'll tell you what, this girl has been a lifesaver this week with everything going on with Sylvester she's just been an absolute lifesaver she let me bring him over we did like small surgical type procedures 
in her kitchen with the twins running around. Um, and Sylvester was such, such a good boy. He tolerated it all very, very well. So that one's a dud. I lied. <laughs> I lied. I said the whole tray. I meant, like, my colors, but... Um, I mean, I know I said I needed more whites because last year I had more colors than I did whites. Oh, um, this is all... These are all gray, you guys. Look. G. Gray. Wow. G. Gray. Nothing. Nada. Nada. I'm also getting, even though they've got the oyster shells and stuff, um, there's a, uh, um, there's two poultry suppliers that I know that go to shows. And, um, so this one says Calista buff over buff. Nada. Now, <laughs> let me explain about her in a minute here. Um, but anyways, uh, there's two poultry suppliers. And on one of them, um, on his website, he has, I can't remember what it was called. Barb, do you remember what that was that I texted you that he had? Um, I don't know. The best I could explain it was essentially kind of like a, uh, um, like a Viagra for the, <laughs> for them. Now this one, this is a weird, weird shaped egg. Weird shaped egg. This one kind of got stuck in the manufacturing line, but it's also got a loose air cell. So, um, but anyways, um, I'm thinking about ordering off of him or ordering some of that off of him along with seeing if anybody out there in like all the poultry communities that I'm in has ever artificially inseminated a goose. They do it a lot of time with chickens. But okay, so this one, you guys, this one, you can see it through there just barely. Um, this one was laid out by the water bucket. And when I find them by the water bucket, I just kind of dunk them in the water bucket and then kind of rub off as much as I can. So, um, but this one is fertile. You can see it moving in there. Um, and yes, Aaron Sylvester was a best boy ever. Um, I owe you like lunch or a trip to that ceramic, sh ceramic store that we talked about something. I owe you girl. I owe you. Um, and just an FYI, Sylvester does have an appointment with the vet on, um, Wednesday at 3 PM. So we'll find out more. This is an egg from Sylvester's pen, which is nada. And this is a Sylvester pen with a loose air cell. She's been laying a lot of loose air cells guys. But she's like almost nine herself, so it could very well be that she's getting, she's either nine or ten herself, so. Alright, since I do not have my bucket here, um, and I do not have my bucket in here, and, um, ow. I just scratched myself and broke a nail, so. But anyways, I'm going to throw these back in the incubator real quick. Ow, that's bright. Um, so let me tell you guys about Callista. Little Miss Callista. <laughs> so, Little Miss Callista, my buff. She is a total, complete, spoiled, rotten brat up here. So, I got Miss Callista from Barb back in, what did we say, 16, Barb? Her hatch date was April of 16. Barb and I just went through this. Um, so from day one, 
from day one, Calista has been in the same pen, same fence, same nesting area, nowhere else. That's like her home, okay? This little brat has only given me a handful of eggs, and I moved her pet. And, um, yeah, let me do this. So, anyways, I moved her pet. Well, one of two things. Either she's coming towards the, well, uh, there could be a couple things. Either she's coming to the end of, like, her laying cycle, or she is possibly, um, lacking something, or even after talking with Barb, maybe, maybe she could possibly have an infection. Um, I'm going to give her a couple more days here and I'm going to talk to my vet about it Wednesday when I go in. Because I initially had an appointment for her for Thursday. Go figure. Um, but anyway, so this little brat, I moved her Saturday. Sunday morning, walk in. There's an egg. Bam. Small egg. Small. Okay. And here's what she was doing. Is it was like every other egg to every second egg was soft shelled. I don't know. They've got free choice oyster shells. I mean, it could potentially be my feed. Maybe I need to change up my feed. Yay, Aaron. I, I will see what mine are doing. I seen some shadowing last night. But anyways, Miss Calista. So tonight, or I go in this morning, and there's another egg. Along with a soft shell right next to it. Um, so I, I, I just, I left it for the day. And I picked it up. And it's got like this brown red hue to it. Almost like a brown chicken egg. One of the light, light, light brown chicken eggs it's got a few calcium deposits on it but nothing that's too concerning for me but here's what this little brat did so you walk in the door for the coop and right here at the door there's an enclosed area for their nesting area that's you know totally solid wood um, nice little hiding spot for them she walks in and goes left and immediate left turn right into the nesting area and just making all kinds of racket and all kinds of noise like oh my god I left nag here where did it go blah 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 so I'm honestly and truthfully thinking that I need a no parking or like a special parking sign Calista only sign um so anyways let's go ahead and get on I just had to share that let's get on with this so these guys here, uh, batch C, they are on day, they were sat on the 26th, so they would be on day 21. Um, I had to put two on the same shelf because I ran out of room. So again, these are on day 21. Um, that's kind of bright, hold on. I had to turn my volume down on my tablet. Not the volume, the brightness. Dur, dur, dur. Okay, so day 21. Is that blurry, you guys, or is it just on my end? Because it looks really, really blurry to me. Like, I need to clean my camera yes there is movement but is it just my screen or is it blurry because I don't like to have you guys see on blurry stuff there's movement in this one see it way down there
Thank you, Tommy. I'm just a dancing around in there. Aren't you, baby? Yeah, so these guys are on day 21. Actually, I went backwards. I shouldn't... I'm out of sequence, you guys. So, we're looking for movement. Sometimes, sometimes if I tap on them, but even still at this time, yep, right there. At this stage of the game, I don't toss them out immediately. I'll check numerous times before I toss them out. Um, that one's got movement. Yeah, they tend to do that often, don't they, Barb? So, yep, right there. Now, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, last year I caught on video, like, actual web bony structure moving but that one's good and then this one is these are all I think these are all whites so like I said he's he's my two year old's doing his job good um, I have I actually have a total of three white ganders, but I only have two white hens, minus Sylvester. I don't count Sylvester. Sylvester is my color carrier. He's in his own entity. Um, so I just last week got my first egg out of Fort Knox, where there's two boys, and luckily they're still doing what they need to be doing and not trying to kill each other. <clears throat> but one is going to go bye-bye. Yep, there's movement there. You can just barely see it right there. There you go. So, yeah, these guys are on day 21. Um, and let's see here. Fluff, 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 and fluff. Fluff is white. So, um, these guys are on day 14, and we may get lucky enough. How old is Uno, Barb? Look right there, you guys. Right there. I don't know what structure that is, but it's definitely a bony something. You know, I still get mesmerized by this. Did you guys catch that? It's like a wing or something. That one's just a dancing around in there. So that's one gray baby. And then I think the rest of these are all white. So let's see how active this little guy is. Guy or girl, whatever. Okay, so I'm not actually seeing, like, okay, now I'm catching it, but the first thing that I caught was the vein structure moving, the veins, which is good. But you see how gently I'm rolling them? Just barely. Barely. 
And I gotta admit, I have not been 100% diligent on cooling and misting these guys. There's been a couple nights where it's just... I don't know why I don't do it during the day. Because I'm always so busy. But I usually do it before I go to bed. And it's just... Nope. I, I gotta go to bed. I'm, I'm done. It's... It's been very exhausting right now. It seems like Uno is just a couple of years old, isn't he? If that, Barb. So there's that one. And I'm actually going to leave this tray sitting out for a few minutes after we're done here. Because i got to transfer him to the other tray. Um, FYI. So right now, I only have about 12 eggs downstairs with how this fertility is going. I am not going to set any this week. I'm going to wait till the following week. Um, so there might be a gap in between our videos, like a two-week gap. Um, so you guys might end up getting like two videos to get caught up in one week or something but we're all moving there so that's good and if you're wondering what the marks are on my eggs so well hello there little one just a bouncing around in there oops sorry got out of frame and thank you again everybody for joining and you know as always thanks for your support um you know, I, I, I do this for you guys. I do it for the new ones. Um, please, please take some time and share some of these videos. Um, I have not yet, but w they will be going up on the YouTube channel. But, you know, all these, all these there's tons of questions about um, incubation and... Um, like what they're seeing, what should they be seeing, etc. like that. That's why I do these videos, to give an idea of what you may or may not be seeing. Um, you know, I, 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 do it, I do it more for you guys than I do for me. And I've done it for the last three years, and I'll continue to do it as long as I can. So that one's moving. But anyways, let me show you guys real quick. My system so um as always as you guys know that when they hatch they pip at the large end so a little trick is to make your marks at the top the small end the pointy end um i've got several pens one is fluff the way that i'm marking them is fluff callista sly gray and fort knox so I will put what pen the gander, it's basically the gander's name, if he's got a name. Um, and then I've got my, I stick with, I don't know, an X, asterisk, whatever you want to call it. I just make a mark. And then I label mine by the alphabet. So this was the third batch to go in, that's why it has a C. This one was the second batch to go in, it has a B. And then the first batch, which I'm getting ready to switch out to, will be a A. Um, so I'm going to leave these guys out just a little bit more. It's not going to hurt them. I'm going to try not to try, knock the tripod down. Um, so I think, and this batch is going to go into lockdown as soon as I'm done here, guys, because... I've actually held off lockdown to be able to do this video with you guys. Um, I think this was an A. Yes, okay. So I do have one that I did pull out because I was kind of getting worried about it, that it was going to start doing some yucky stuff, and nobody wants a yucky egg in their incubator. Um, I didn't smell anything I only seen. Because, again, I did do some candling last night. I seen one of these eggs that were shadowing. Um, so, it may or may not be shadowing as of right now. So, 
Let's start with this egg. It's awfully, awfully light. Let's listen. I'm going to listen first. I don't hear anything. So this would be a fluff egg. Now see, this is something, you guys, that I don't know about. Ugh. So, well, I guess that would explain it. So this egg is supposed to be on day 28, okay? I may end up crying tonight, you guys. So, last night, it was moving around, it was dancing around. But I kept saying to myself, why doesn't it seem as developed? Why isn't? You know, why am I still seeing all this baining? And I was trying to figure it out. You know, did I screw it up? Did I put an A when it should have been B in the wrong spot? But I am not seeing an ounce of movement. Um, when they're like this, usually I'll give them kind of like a little jostle. And... I know you probably won't be able to see it, but, and I know that those of you who have seen it, I'm watching my video, I don't know, let's try. So, right here along this edge, you can almost see like a jelly-like substance, where I see it on the inside, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this little one quit yep I'm gonna say that that little one quit so let me see something here the other thing that you can feel for you can feel is for temperature if an egg is cold after it just came out of the incubator more than likely it's probably gone <coughs> And this would be a little gray baby. Um, everything looks, uh, I don't know, but this, I swear if I have a single baby hatch, guys, I'm going to go bonkers. But looks like this one quit on me as well. It was moving last night. See, just like, just like that, they can just quit. And just dump and quit. Damn it. Okay, so here's a difference. This one, I'm thinking, is probably working on trying to make its way out. Okay, so real quick, let me show you guys. So... You see how the air cell is. And can you see along, right along where it's dark. Now watch as I turn it. You can see where it's popped up. You guys see that? And then it kind of dips right back down. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's shadowing. We're not necessarily pipped. I'm going to listen real quick. No, I don't hear anything yet. This is what, what we call shadowing. Which is where it's pushing on the membrane. And you don't want to do a whole lot with it when you see it doing this. Um, when you put it in the incubator for lockdown, you got to think about kind of basic, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Sense of direction, I guess. Um, but you guys can see it pushing there, bouncing around a little bit. Can you guys see that or is that light too bright? Is that a little bit better? Um, but anyways, uh, 
sense of direction helps. So you want to make sure when you put it in your incubator that you're laying it down with the largest part of the air cell pointing down or pointing up. I'm sorry. So you're going to lay it in the incubator just like so. Um, now, if you look at, say, look at the difference in the air cells, huge difference. Anybody want to, I really wish I had two flashlights and three hands or at least four hands. Okay. So there's that one. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Like Barb said, make sure to put it in the same way it's sitting when you took it out. You can't write and I can't talk. So we're doing just fine. So, um, you know, if, if say like the, I mean, you just make sure that the largest part of the air cell is facing up. Now this one, this is a, this is my Sylvester egg, guys. Son of a cracker nut. Let's see here. What do we got? Let's see. This one looks like it quit on me a while ago. How clear is that? I don't see. What I do see is even if I move it around like so, it's like a solid blob right there along that line. And this may or may not have been my one and only chance to have a Sylvester baby again. You know, it's times like this that you almost feel like giving up. <laughs> but you don't. But you don't. Um, so it looks like I could possibly have a single baby hatch. Luckily... I've got plenty for the next batch, and I can probably figure out somewhere to keep the baby in my room so it's not in the basement, or I can do like I've done before and borrowed a baby from one of my friends. Um, I have a friend with American Buffs that, even though it's quite a bit bigger, quite a bit bigger, I might be able to borrow a baby. So... Um, or, I don't know if Miss Erin is still with us, maybe Erin would let me borrow a baby. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay, so this egg here I did pull out last night. It is, it, it, it went bad. It went bad. It went bad. Um, so you see all that, like, blotchiness? That is the beginning of the rotten egg. And last night, oh yeah, you s I know I gotta kinda do it. See that jiggling around in there? Like, yellow? That's not a good thing. It is very possible that if I'd have left this egg in there any longer, see it there? If it had went any longer, that it could have possibly had been really bad on my end. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this <laughs> one baby in the lockdown, I guess. Um, I'm going to turn the light on for a minute. Because there's something else that I feel like I should bring up. Um, hold on. I'm moving this so you guys don't get blinded by the light. Okay, so I feel like there's something else that I should bring up, and oh shoot, I forgot to call her back. Um, so somebody messaged me today asking about, um, basically asking about, oh, duh, <laughs> I'm seeing eight people on here that are watching. I'm one of them on my own Facebook page. Okay. So, 
I had somebody message me today asking about like eggs and possibly what could be going on, etc. like that. And I think I think Barb and who else is watching? Um, Judith, I think I've talked to you about it. Tommy, I can't remember if I've talked to you about it, but you know, we talked what was it, two weeks ago? about um doing an assisted hatch you know where you go in and assist um with pipping or external pipping anything like that um oh that's what i forgot i forgot a towel um so anyways the oh i can't do that yet um i gotta change trays um, so something that I recommend is, you know, in, in these instances where I've got these eggs that, um, just up and quit on me like that, that were fine, I mean, fine last night. And, you know, honestly and truthfully, I may just throw them back in the incubator just to ensure that my eyes are not playing games on me. But anyways, I'm reaching for stuff, guys, sorry. But anyways, um, I learned a long time ago that if I'm having a lot of bad hatches or um, a lot of quitters to go in and do egg topsies. And what I mean by egg topsy is it's, it's literally just that. You are taking an... It would be like assisting the egg or, you know, the gasoline out. But unfortunately, you know, it, it, it is. It's an autopsy. Um, so, um, you know, with that, with that being said, you can learn an awful lot from an egg topsy, um, such as if there's any issues, if there was any deformities, um, you can sometimes tell if there's bacteria growing in there. Um, whoopsie daisy, sorry guys. Um, you, you, you can actually tell quite a bit from an egg topsy. Um, now, with that being said, I don't know how it would go, but I could possibly do like a, um, I don't know, say maybe like a Google Meet or um, like a Facebook group Meet or, you know, um, oh, Facebook Messenger video, group Messenger video. Um, something like that, I could potentially do that tomorrow when there's really good light. Um, if anybody is interested in seeing that being done, I could, I could totally do that. Um, you know, I mean, the only thing is, is that you have to be prepared for the not so faint at heart stuff. Um, for those of you that are here, would anybody be interested in watching these at some point tomorrow doing egg topsy? Um, it would be during the day or at least early evening before dark. Um, just when there's more light. So it is possible to be able to do that. Um, I can, you know, make a post. Um, I would rather do it tomorrow than anything else because, uh, Wednesday I have Sylvester in the vet and et cetera like that. I'll keep them in the incubator so that they'll stay warm and, uh, they won't harden up like, you know, which they could have already possibly hit into like 
rigor mortis type status, but I won't know until we open it up. Um, so with that being said, what I will do is, um, yes, yeah, what I will do is I will make a Facebook post, um, tonight yet, um, on the, um, oh, do I want to do it on the national page or on the Friends of National Sebastopol? Um, oh, apps, well, hmm, I don't, Tommy, um, you're where again? Okay, you know what? No, this is what I'll do, guys. I will just, I will get as much light as possible. Um, I will have my headlamp out. And I can do something again tomorrow night. Would that work better? Um, same time. Uh, basically the same place. Um, well, let me double check on the, on the place thing. Um, but I can, I can, I can accommodate and I can do for tomorrow night. Um, I don't know who else just joined us. Can any, anybody see who all is here? Um, but, uh. Yeah, I can I can do it tomorrow night for you guys. It'll be like nine ish. Something like that. Um I'll just have to figure out a platform. No, I know I know Barb. I know. Um Oh, you're talking about seeing who all is here. Um You know, I wonder if it's something that I can put on the website. Um, okay. So, many of you I have on Facebook Messenger. Or Facebook. Um, so, watch the National Sebastopol page like a hawk. Because I will get it figured out and I will get it posted tomorrow. Um, for those, or, you know, get it posted tomorrow to join in. And then we'll do something live. I'm not sure if it'll be through, like, Google Meet, Facebook groups, or, um, Facebook Messenger, or what the best platform is for that. Um, because the last thing that I want is to get us booted off of Facebook. Um... But it might be something that I can embed, get embedded into the website under like a, I don't know, advisory type status. Would anybody have any knowledge of that by chance? Um, so yeah, again, watch the Facebook page. I'm sorry, my wheels are turning, guys. Do you guys see the smoke coming out my ears? Somebody might want to call a fire department because that doesn't happen often. Um, oh, no, 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 Barb. I'm trying to figure out as far as doing, um, to do egg topsy tomorrow night on a couple of these eggs that quit. Um, and that'll also give you guys like an idea of what I keep in my like, say, hatching egg baby 911 kit. I have an emergency kit for the babies. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how to do a live video on what platform, essentially. So, again, watch the Facebook page, Like a Hawk, tomorrow. Because um, I can't individually tag people through the page. Um, but as soon as I get it figured out, we will get it shared. And we'll do 9 o'clock tomorrow, just not sure on the platform yet, okay? Um, 
Does anybody have any questions for me? Comments, concerns, anything like that? And don't forget, guys, stuff's coming up on the website. It's it's really, I'm really, really pleased with where this is going all this year. I really am. It's been a lot of hard work for the club, but it's it's going to be well worth it, you guys. So check out the website as well. Um, I'm going to get a hold of a couple people, see what I can figure out for the best idea for this. And um, we will see whomever we see tomorrow night. Thank you for everybody that stuck around and watched. And um, if you all are curious as to what the update is on Sylvester, you guys can message me. So um, you're welcome, Tommy. That, that, like I said, that's what I'm here for. I'm I'm doing this for you guys. I'm not doing. I mean, I would have candled, but um. And thank you, my dear. I do appreciate it. I'm not gonna slaughter your name. I'm not gonna slaughter your name. I so would. Um. But again, watch for tomorrow, and we'll make it happen. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.